Hello everybody, I do hit here, and today I'll be making a video that's a little bit different from the ones I usually make. It's more of a uh, tutorial one, but um, you might have noticed my background or the way TF2 is displayed, which is also called the HUD, is different from the default. So in this video, I'm gonna showing you guys some of the settings or uh, just things things you can do to customize your TF2 game. So I'll start off with some with some uh, a couple of little tips for improving your gameplay, and then I'll go into more aesthetic stuff like hit sound and um, and HUD. So let's go on a random team. Um, looks like we don't have any medics. So the this is, this is also kind of going to be a live commentary sort of thing. So to um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is all right. So the first thing is the um, uh, field of view. So to do that, you're going to want to open up your console and do FOV desired and then whatever you want. So I think the default is 75, but um, the best one I think is uh, 90. Now what expanding your console does whoops, is it uh, what expanding your field of view does is um, it enables you to um, see a wider view, which also means your like weapons and arms are a little more zoomed out, so you can see around better. And also, um, uh, it's hard to talk and talk about. I'm I'm also lagging a bit, but um, where's that demo man? Um, so what doing this does is enables you to see farther and more zoomed out. So you so you could see like if a spy is sneaking up on you from a corner. I'm I'm getting totally destroyed. I I I really I really can't play and talk at the same time. Uh, uh, how do I play this game? Uh, the, the, uh, ouch. Alright, so that's that. That's me playing badly while trying to talk and think and everything at the same time. Usually when I play TF2 and stuff, my brain just kind of shuts off for a while. It's quite fun. But, um, let's heal these guys. Alright. Alright. Um, the next thing you'll want to do, so, listen for when I actually hit someone, I, I have a hit sound, here I'll change to pyro, it's very very easy to hear the hit sound on pyro, hopefully you can light someone on fire and it will explode across the entire all right let's get this spy nope ah all right so what the hit sound does is every time you do damage it plays a little noise and uh, the default is a little ding which some people like some people don't like some people just get used to it but um, this helps a lot if uh, he's using the charge and charge is he? I don't know, but let's let's get on the point. Try and pressure people into coming over here. Oh, come on. Um, and also another thing you can do is you can set damage numbers. So how how that will work is you go into advanced options. Um, you just do play a hit sound and damage text or uh, display damage done as text over your target. So, 
with those, whoops, ah, still getting used to this new HUD, but what, what these do is you can see how much damage you dealt, all right, let's get, uh, there was, there's a little, like, a little noise that played, um, uh, maybe, maybe, like, soldier, anyway, so, if you enable those, yay, we failed. Um, if you enable those, then, well, I was sitting on that guy's head. That's fun. Wee, let's get the health. Yay. Hi, hi, Scout. Hi. Um, what those will do, it, it, it's just easier to tell when you did damage and also how much damage you dealt if you... With, with with those, you can kind of count how much damage you deal and know if you're close to killing... Ah! Oh, know if you're close to killing someone you know whatnot. So, ah. I'm lagging a ton. But that's that, and I will go on to the HUD and the hit sounds. So to do the uh, HUD and hit sounds, you're going to first want to go into properties of tf2 browse local files and then from here you'll get into the steam folder system so from that you're going to want to go into tf and into custom so here's where you just drop your huds and um you you can also create a file for folder for spare huds this is the one i'm using right now i like it a lot uh, I'll put the link in the description. So the next thing is you want to want to go to hit sounds. Uh, there there won't be a file. You'll just have to create a file. You can name it anything except sound because that really messes up TF2. In my experience, it crashed. But from there, you're gonna want to make a folder called sound. You want to make a folder called UI. This sound.cache file will automatically appear when you launch TF2. And into this folder, you can just put your hit sounds. So, I think that's it. That's, and um, hit hit sounds. You can you can usually find them on the internet. There's there are a couple websites, but uh, those are that's my little TF2 tutorial video on stuff. So goodbye. See you guys on the flip to flip.